20 seconds, high knees, guys. Three, two, one, go. Not, nothing too fast. Just getting like warm up pace going, driving them up halfway or so. Oh. The indoor angles are tough, man. Outdoor is easier. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, now we're going butt kicks, butt kicks, butt kicks. Same deal, 20 seconds, go. Get to see my, all my leather brown books. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Dude, leave me alone. Four, three, two, one. All right, guys, I want us to go curtsy lunge, curtsy lunge. That means we're stepping back, behind, and out to the side. 20 seconds alternating. Back, out, and to the side. Good job, guys. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Just a scotch too uh, muggy outside, like right on the cusp. So we're indoors. Rest, rest, rest. All right, guys, we're going to take a reverse lunge and try and get like a groin stretch. You're going to try and get your shoulder on the inside of your knee. So we're going to step back, sink real low inside your knee, and then come back up. All right, we're each going to do five of those. Stay on the same side, sink in, stand back up. Reverse lunge inside the knee, stand back up. Five each side, five each side. Ooh Try and get a little deeper into the stretch on each one. Five a piece, guys. Five a piece. Once we get those five in, we're gonna go five each side, marching kicks. Big long loose leg kicking up to the opposite hand, guys. Opposite hand. Good. Is that everybody? I feel like I don't have everybody on my screen. What's going on? All right, guys. Five aside on those big swinging kicks. Then we're going to get three hand walkouts. Three hand walkouts. Push up and walk yourself back. Walk out. Push up. Oh, walk yourself back. Keep your heels as close to the ground as you can on those legs, guys. Once we get our three walkouts, we're going to do five each way. Shoulders, big shoulder shrug arm circles, five each way after our hand walkouts. All right, let's see what we got. What we're working with here, gang. Of course, get IMs. Never got IMs in my life again right now. All right, guys, so we'll talk through some bodyweight stuff. If we don't have weights, but first circuit's going to be strength set. We're going to be doing four rounds of a reverse lunge into a step up, eight each side. We'll show you guys all this stuff in a sec. Ten sumo squat scap raises. So those are, both of those exercises will be with two dumbbells. And then we've got a banded L-sit prone row. And we'll also, we can also do like a bent over dumbbell row for that. Uh, but first, make sure you guys can see. Yep. Stoops in there, good. So you guys are gonna step up with one leg, right? That's gonna be kind of the leg that the, so we'll go right. That's gonna be the leg that does all the movement on the first, uh, on each side, right? So we're gonna stand up with our right leg. When you step back down, you're gonna do a reverse lunge with that same right leg, right? So both movements, like the kind of working portion of it is all being done on one side for eight reps. So up and back, that's one, you're doing eight per side. All right, so sumo squat, most of you guys know, right, is really wide stance. So what we're doing for a sumo squat, a scap raise, scap raise is gonna be using shoulder blades, right, to raise your hands up into a little bit of a Y, squeezing these guys back here. So we're gonna combine the two where we're squatting down with really wide open toes, sinking into a squat, right? So our knees are going forward, our butt's going down. We're not bending over at the waist with two dumbbells. And when you stand up, you're gonna drive those guys over your head, or excuse me, up to about shoulder height, but focusing on squeezing your shoulder blades towards one another. 
Um, if you don't have those guys, if you don't have weights for those guys, we can do the same kind of thing in air squats and we'll double the reps for you guys. So that'll, for if you don't have weights, guys, you'll do 20 where we sink down into that sumo squat. Then I want you guys to squeeze back more like horizontal with your arms and up. That way you'll get more scap in there. So you guys will do 20 there. Banded L-sit prone row. Does anyone have a band? Oh, we got some bands. All right, we're demoing the band then, baby. Raquel, yo. All right, so if you got the band, guys, you're going to fold it so you got both. You're going to wrap that around your midfoot. You're going to sit up nice and tall. And what we're going to do is prone. So that means we're going to have our fists facing up towards the sky, palms facing towards the ground, and we're going to draw our elbows back to our sides, right? Trying to stay up as tall as you can. If you don't have the band and you got some dumbbells, whether it's one or two, if you've got two dumbbells, we'll have you bend over at the waist, real tight stomach, kind of carry your weight in your hamstrings. Knuckles are going towards the wall out in front of you. If you have two dumbbells, we're here. If you've only got one, maybe split your stance and go with that same prone, but just do the same amount of reps on each side, all right? So, one more time through reps, guys. We got eight per side, reverse lunges um, into the step up. We've got 10 sumo squats to scap raise, and we've got 15 banded L-sit prone rows. So for our full body weight folks, we'll have you guys do those 20, um, the lunge to step up. You guys can keep maybe bump to 10 if you don't have weights. Yep, you're gonna do the sumo squat into the retraction for 20. And then instead of that uh, banded L-sit row, we're gonna have you guys go 10 a piece on alternating supermans. So you'll draw one arm back, raise the opposite leg, rest. That way at least we're getting some of that back work in for you guys. All right, gang. All right, we're moving. Time to settle in on the sideline here and make sure my players are doing what they're supposed to do. All right, Les, let's see that girl. Step up there and then step off nice and ginger like light feet. Good job, Akal. Job, good word. It's been a great spring and summer with you guys. You're all so good at stuff now. Make sure we get our whole foot on whatever we're stepping up onto. I can't see everybody's foot, but don't let your heel hang off. It happens all the time. People that have been coming for like 10 years. I don't even know if we've been over that long. Just about actually 2011. Um, but yeah, whole foot on that box, guys. Whole foot on that box. Oh, that's awesome. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Let's see them. Come on now. All right, Beth Rosen. Really think about squeezing the shoulder blades, guys, right? So your, your shoulder blades should kind of pull together at some point. If you're going way overhead, that means we're pulling them apart a little bit. So really just squeeze those shoulder blades together to drive those weights up. Raquel, extend your arms all the way through. So when you go down, don't have bent elbows. Go down into your squat with long arms and then raise with long arms. Yeah. Squat with long arms, raise with long arms, guys. And we don't necessarily need to go all the way overhead. Just about eyeball height, forehead height. Just making sure shoulder blades are pinched together the whole time. Perfect. Make sure we're bent over enough where it's like a horizontal pull, right? Where we're pulling the floor towards us. A cue I've been giving people a lot on our pull stuff, especially like bent over, standing on your two feet. Pull yourself through the floor. So make sure all your hammies, your core, your back, your chest, everything's nice and tight. You're so solid that when you pull your hands towards you, you're pushing your feet through the floor. That's today's swing thought in the bent over row. Nice job, Calderwood. Squeeze those shoulders back, buddy. What are y'all taking breaks for? Everybody's like fiddling with their computer. Grab the weights. Let's go. Computer fiddle time is over. Who knows what Raquel's got going on behind that? Behind that nice picture. Oh, there you go, Calderwoods. Yep. There you go, Catherine. On the on the case. Love it. Go, guys. Four rounds. Come on. Chase each other down like dogs. Is the last one Superman? 
Yeah, if you don't have anything for that bent over row, you're going to Superman, like, one arm, one leg at the same time, Les. So oh, your okay. left arm and your right leg go back. Oh, you do you have weights? Uh-huh, so just like that. Bent over, but I want your knuckles facing away from you. So, yeah, grab those bad boys. When you're bent over, you just got to make sure that your knuckles are away. That's one thing we're focusing on today. So you're going to naturally pull a little bit wider, guys. You're going to pull wider on that row if you have your hands set properly. Good job. Get depth in these sumo squats, guys. I know it's awkward foot positioning, so it kind of puts your range of motion in a weird spot, but make sure you're driving yourself into the bottom of that squat. It's going to help open up your hips if you're tight. Contrary to popular chirp, Strength training improves mobility. Well, done properly. Doesn't take away, baby. Let's go. Nice job, Beth Rosen. Here we go, Raquel. Own those select texts around. Woodward, those are 15s. <laughs> I love nonverbal communication. No, it's fine. I don't know. They're red. Does that mean anything in the athletic world? They don't have any numbers. I don't know, man. I don't even know where I got them. Hey, man, as long as whatever gets the job done. And any resistance is good, right? Otherwise, we'd just be like walking. If those step-ups hurt my knee, should I just do just stand? Yeah, just do the reverse lunge portion then. That's, oh, yeah, I like that with the knee drive. Try and keep your balance on the one leg. That's perfect. Good job, guys. Let's go. Make sure on any either of these rowing movements, we're setting our shoulders down, right? When we're squeezing our shoulder blades together, we got our shoulders down. We're not up here. Same on that row. Not up here. Shoulders down. Let's go, guys. Four rounds here. Four rounds. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Might be going for a paddle today. First time, long time. You got any paddle boarders out there on vacation? You guys got any in the backyard? It's always fun. Oh, man, we got some fun coming up in this workout, guys. Lots of fun. Nice job, Leslie. You can even step feet out a little bit wider there, Leslie, if you like. Yeah, open those toes up. There you go. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's go. Ooh, we're going to have to change numbers a little bit here. Good job, everybody, man. These are all looking good. Each and every one of these moves, man. Looking good. Dude, Beth, apparently there's some Mondo hit piece on the Redskins that's supposed to come out. I don't know if you're... You're on the trending Twitter list or anything, man. But apparently there's some bombshell the Washington Post is putting out. It's supposed to come out today, but I don't think it did. That's, like, worse than the whole, like, name thing. It's like, uh-oh. Whenever they say stuff like that's going to come out, though, I don't really believe the hype. You know, it's probably going to be like, well, they were like, not that, well. I'm actually not even going to give an example because that might get me in trouble anyway, one way or the other. But regardless... I don't know. They're saying it's going to, like, bring down the franchise. I don't know about that. But I love seeing stuff like – not love, but I love bad guys getting outed. That's what I like. There you go. Can't argue with that. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Calderwoods, you guys better be getting deep in those squats, man, if we're only doing the body weight. I like the effort, though. I like the effort. Woodward, roll your hands forward like this. Knuckles, yeah. Yeah, so you're going to go a little wider on that pole. That's good. Raquel, I can't see your hands, but make sure your knuckles are up to the sky if you got the band. Otherwise, they're to the wall in front of you. Looking good, guys. We're looking good. What's the band thing we were doing? You're going to wrap the band around your feet. 
sitting sitting tall with your legs long, and then you're gonna pull it towards you on either side. Okay. Like that? Good. But you can put your legs on the ground though. Oh. Yep, now extend them as far as you can. Good, now stand, sit up real tall. Good, that's it right there, nice job, Buzz. What round are we on? Starting four, mid four? I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Raquel, you don't have your old foot on there. If you can't trust that cooler with all your body weight, you got to get something else, man. Don't want to crush what's in there. You need to weigh that thing down. You need to put some, uh, some rewards in there. That's what we'll call them. The daily reward. You worked out. You were nice to your family. You worked hard at your job. You get to open that cooler up. If you don't do all three of those, no cooler. That's the rule. It's a good rule. Let's go, guys. Finish strong here. Come on, baby. Let's go. Deep on these sumo squats. Come on. Challenge your range of motion. Something hurts. You're going too far, but we don't want it to hurt, but we want it to be tough. No pain, no gain, as it were, you know? Can't take that literally, though. You don't want to hurt anybody. You can can that uh, little step up uh, stoop, guys, once you're done. Yes, we got her gaining donkey kicks. Mm -hmm -hmm. Washed. All right. What are we going to do on the dumbbell? Alrighty, guys, we got a couple of folks. Finish them up. Let's go. Call the Woods getting those sumo squats and the retractions done. Wood, we're done. Raquel, let's go. Finish that last round up. Next round, guys, we're not going to start without anybody. We've got a 15 minute EMOM with three exercises. So, what's that mean? 15 minutes divided by three exercises, we're going to go through five times. We're going to change the numbers a little bit from this morning's email because I don't, I know that you guys are better than these numbers. So we're going to bump them up a little bit. But for the first minute, we're going to have you guys do 10 chest to ground burpees. Hopefully that takes you about 30 seconds. We do them hard and intense. We get good jumps in. We need all that rest in the remainder of the minute. If you've got weights, we're going to be doing a dumbbell hang clean squat for 10 in the second minute. I bet that'll take us like 40 ish seconds. Third minute, we're going to do a broad jump with a back pedal. First two are going to be 10. Last one's going to be eight. Broad jumps only going to be eight. Actually, screw it. They're all 10. Why well, confuse things, right? Have you guys asking which one's eight? So chest to ground burpees, we know and love. Um, if you guys need to modify to a high plank, just like add a few, right? Determine based on time of everybody else finishing. Just make sure you're staying in pace with them. Dumbbells for the hang clean squat. We hang them. Um, I know it's hard to tell without my dumbbell. I don't want to go too low. You guys got to see my smiling face as I do this. So you guys are going to sink into like a hip hinge, but bend your knees. So it's kind of like a quarter squat almost. So we hinge our hips and then we bend our knees a little bit. So we've got our chest up. We're going to hang the dumbbells there, right? Loose arms. You're going to pop your hips, which will send those dumbbells up. And then you're going to sneak underneath them and catch them nice and soft. When you catch them, you're gonna drop right into a squat. So full speed, sink down, pop, squat. Sink down, pop, squat. So as you catch them at your shoulder, you're dropping into that squat, all right? Um, no waiters, give me a sec to get creative with that. Uh, third one's gonna be 10 broad jumps to back pedals, guys. So get big explosive jump, throw your hands, lay in nice and soft, real quick back pedal to the start position. Another one, big explosive jump, all right? We're thinking out, not up, all right? We want distance on that broad jump. Um, for folks on the hand clean stop, we'll just make a nice little core in there for you guys. We have no weights. Instead of that hand clean squat, you guys are gonna go to side plank, open up nice and wide, reach underneath. Oof. And we'll have you go 10 per side there. So you better make those snappy. You only got a minute. 
All right, guys, let me set up the timer here. Like I said, we're going 15 minutes, so we'll get through everything five times. You know, we like the sound of that already. I can tell. Woo. Demos, man, they just get you more over time. All right, 15 minutes. We're going to give you guys a little bump. All right, 10 second start, guys. We got 10 burpees all the way down to the ground. Nice, tight stomach. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. All the way down. Jump your feet back towards your hands. Good. We're going to see how much rest we can keep as we go through these rounds. Call the woods. Let's go. Move it. Good job, guys. Good job. Come on. Get a little bounce. Throw those arms up. Land nice and soft. Fall right back into it. Come on. 10. Let's go. 30 second Halfway mark, there. 30 second mark. So I think these hand clean squats will take us a few seconds here, but we're, we're going we're gonna to be uh, evolving through this EMOM, make sure everybody's getting nice and challenged. So we're starting with 10, round one. We'll see how it goes from there. We got 10, 10 seconds, seconds, guys. Remember, pop them up to your shoulders. As you catch them as your shoulders, you drop right down into your squat. And then totally reset. <laughs> Let's go. Hinge at the hip, bend at the knee, pop up and squat. Hang them down, pop up and squat. Using your hips and your butt to throw the weights to your shoulders and then your quads and your ooh, hammies to get up into that squat. Raquel, drop into a squat, no press. When you catch them at your shoulder, drop into a squat. Squat, squat. Yeah, now reset. Hinge them up, squat. Yeah, right there. good job. 10 of those guys. We got 25 more seconds on this minute. Woodward, think kettlebell swing to get that up there. Squeeze your butt and pop into your shoulder and your next time through. All right, 10 seems like a good number for those. I like that. All right, guys, minute three, we're going to have 10 broad jumps to back seconds. pedal, right? Be quick with that back pedal. Keep the heart rate up. All the words are going to do that. Broad jump uh, bunny hop line like last time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Big broad jumps, right? You should take a big breath in, squeeze everything, chuck, right? These should be big explosive jumps. Explosive is different for all of us. We're not all equally explosive. Equal explosive ability. That would be ideal. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Ten of these suckers. Halfway there. Nice, nice soft landing, Beth Rosen. There you go. 27, 26. All righty, guys. Just for grins, we're going to add one to every single one. So we have 11 chest to ground burpees on our first minute. 10 11 seconds. 11 hand clean squats. And 11 broad jumps to back pedal. We're going to see how high we can get with you guys getting a decent bit of rest. Let's go, let's go. 11 burpees, come on. 11's more than 10. I can't count everybody's. We're on the honor system here, but let's do 11. Just tell yourself, it's going to be better than 12. It's not going to be bad as 12. Come on. We had way too much rest on our last one. 11 reps. Get that last one. That last one makes you better than your neighbor who's got some BS excuse for not doing what we're doing right now. Come on. No reason they can't still be just as fast, guys. 11, 11, 11, 11. I'm going to find our charger super quick. 20 seconds, guys. Nice job. Nice job. All righty, guys. We're going 11 on our dumbbell hand. 10 seconds. Swap. Get through these. Be smooth. Pop it up with your, excuse me, with your glutes and your hammies. Throw it up with your hips, then sink into your squat. Think kettlebell swing, guys. Loose arms. Nice job, Calder Woods. Reach underneath. Try to turn that chest towards the ground. Look at the poop. That's awesome. 40 seconds, guys. 40 seconds. Grabbing my charger BRB.
way there. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. Nice. I feel like the extra rep is making you guys go faster, and I, I, I dig that about you. All righty, now these are the ones. It's the broad jump with the back pedal, man. There's some time involved in these, so we got to work hard. Ten seconds. Come on, baby. All righty, guys, let's go. Let's go. We're on the charge, whoo, by the skin of our teeth, guys. Yeah, Woodward, that's a hot. Halfway there. Calderwood's looking good. Chris has a massive broad jump, always has. Each inch, oh, dude, don't jump over the computer. Okay, I like that, all right. I'm gonna have to do it, guys. I think we're gonna have to go 12 on this next round here, honestly, I mean. 10 seconds. <laughs> What are we here to do, right? Work hard, burn cows, get endorphins, all that good stuff. 12 this round, let's go. Come on, 12 burpees. You guys took like 35 seconds to do 11. You see, you get 45 seconds, that's still 15 seconds rest. It's pretty good, pretty good return on the interest. The rates are low. Let's go, 12, come on. Do them faster, be done in the same amount of time. That's what we're trying to see. Who can get 12 in in the time it took them to get 10 in? And why did it take them so long to do 10? Come on, guys. Come on. Halfway, Halfway point. Halfway there. Halfway point. Get, get a little hop if you, need, if you can. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay, first one done at about 22, 20, 15. Okay, cool. There it is. There it is. We found the cap on our burpee number. Guys. Well done. All right, hand clean squat. We're going to go 12. This might be our ceiling here, too. That might have been the number all along. Let's go. Let's go. Pop it up with the hips. Call the words open and under control, man. Stay, Stay nice and taut. Squeeze your abs together. Pull your waistline closer to your chest. But also squeeze, squeeze everything everywhere all the time, guys. Tension everywhere. Ones. I hope you're bumping up to 12 per side on those rotations, man. I know you guys are. Good job. Turn your chest towards the ground. Right there. Let's go, guys. Still got, still got 25 seconds. Use that pop of your hips. Full squat. Good, good, good. Okay, good. 12 is the number there, too. We figured it out. You guys are some Ten sleuths, seconds. man. Some data hounds. All right, let's see what 12 broad jump back pedals look like. Soft landing, soft landing. Here we go, here we go. Soft landing, 12 of them, come on. Get that same amount of rest as you got last time. Show me, show me. Good job, guys, good job. Bam, bam, nice job. Come on, Woodward, keep jumping. Keep jumping, guys. 12's not that many. 12's not that many. Halfway there. Halfway. 30 seconds of rest left to be got, guys. Get it. Get it. Got it. Good. See what happens? My family goes away, dude. Get kooky. All right, we're going to say 12's the number. We're going to stick at 12. I don't want to see the face. 10 seconds. Say 13. 13's a shit S ton of burpees. All right, 12's the number. Stay in with 12, guys. Let's go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are the times we got left. Two more rounds through these. Crank them out. We know what we can do in 12. 12 in, rather. We know we're going to get rest. Work hard for the 12. You'll get your rest. Believe. Good job, guys. Good job. 37, 36. Come on. 
feet, let those feet drop right behind you. As soon Halfway as they touch there. the ground, catch the floor, throw it away. You're in a little wrestling match with the ground. 12. Nice job, Raquel. 17, 16, 15. This is a good day, guys. This is a good Ten workout. seconds. Six, five. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Cleaning them up to your shoulders. Catch them. Drop into a squat. 12 reps. 12 reps in the third minute. Fourth minute? Third minute. 10, 11, 12. 12. Fourth minute. Fourth minute. Fourth round, rather, I should say. 38. 37, 36, come on, plenty of rest left. Get these done. Call the woods. Make sure you're Halfway opening, there. guys. You guys are turning underneath, but are we opening? Are we opening as wide as we need to? Are we squeezing that shoulder blade back? Are we supporting our core? 20 seconds, guys, let's go. 12s. Look what you did. You guys earned a cap of reps. That takes Ten seconds. You guys were slacking. You earned it. I know you could do 13. I know you can. All right, guys. Broad jump to back pedal. 12 of them. Stand at 12. Good. Good. Mr. Loba Loba. <clears throat> Don't get a text all day long and as soon as you need your computer to be quiet. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Soft feet. Soft feet. One more round after these. Let's Halfway go. there. Still about 25 seconds of rest to be had, guys. Keep jumping. Keep landing soft. Come on. Come on, baby. Next round is only one weighted guy. A couple of body weights. A little core finish up, guys. Not a lot of Ten meat seconds. left on the bone. Everybody's going to be fine. Let's go. 12s. One more time. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Fight with the floor. Attack the floor. Make sure our stomachs are tight. Don't let your hips drop and slam into the floor and arch and hyperextend your back and then drop your upper body. Quads and chest and tummy should be hitting that deck just about the same time. If you squeeze your abs on the way down, it's going to keep your back from hyperextending, even if you don't manage to get everything to Halfway hit there. the deck at the same time. So ideally, that's what we want. Tight stomach, everything slapping against the floor at the same time. Gets harder as the more tired you get, man. I get it. I get it. All right, guys. Last, last burpees. There you go. Everybody likes to hear Ten that. Ten seconds. All righty. 12 hang clean squats. Pop with the hips and the glutes. Catch. Full squat. Should be dropping as soon as those weights hit your shoulders. As soon as they start, gravity starts to hit them. Squat. Nice job, Woodward. Did we lose your keller? I minimize my screen. Oh, where'd you go, girl? I'm sure she's still crushing it. I'm sure she's still doing something. 15 seconds in, guys. Still 40 seconds of rest left. Calderwood's good pace up there on the old porch there. Halfway there. Nice job, Beth Rosen. That's a nice little hang clean. Just about 20 seconds left to rest in the minute, guys. We got our last broad jump back pedal. That was quite the journey. Quite the journey. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, let's go. 12 broad jumps. Here we go, guys, Last fast round. as you can. No reason we shouldn't try and finish and get the rest. Oh, that would be a good rule for EMOMs. As soon as you're done, you got to do something bad if you finish too slow on the last minute. Always thinking, guys, about how we can motivate you. Soft landing there, Rosen Woodward. 
Calderwoods can't see it, but I'm sure you're doing great. Halfway there. Come on, guys. Finish them up. 12. When we are done with our 12, we are going to go get a couple of dumbbells for Renegade Rows. We're going to do 10 each side on there. From there, if we've got a band, we're going to do a banded donkey kick. If we don't got a band, we're just going to do a regular donkey kick. Then we're going to have... There's your EMOM, guys. That was a, a 15 minutes well spent. Nicely done. Um, sorry. So we're going to then go to jackknife sit-ups. So jackknife sit-ups are a little bit like um, single leg V-ups. So again, 10 per side renegade row, 12, 10 per side uh, donkey kicks, 10 per side jackknife sit-ups. So let's go over renegade row real quick. Push-up position slightly wider in the feet because we're picking one hand up. Make sure your chest is over your hands, right? Don't sink back here. Stay over your hands with your chest and your shoulders. And then you're trying to squeeze your bicep around your rib cage, right? Not reach it as far back as you can. Squeeze it around your rib cage. Try and trace your bicep around your rib cage. So we're going to do 10 per side there. If you have a band, you're going to wrap it around your midfoot and then hook your fingers on it. For banded donkey kicks. If we don't have a band, we're just going to do them body weight, just like this. Same deal. Chest stays over the hands up front. And I want you guys to almost think more about opening this hip flexor to the ground than actually using your butt or moving your foot. Open this guy up without breaking any control of your core. Open that guy up. Squeeze your butt and open up your hip flexor. We got 10 aside there. And then our jackknife sit-ups. We're just going to try and get a little higher and a little straighter in the legs for our single leg V-ups. Thank you. That's my jackknife sit up. I don't know. It's probably somebody else's different one. Those will be 10 aside, too. We're going through four rounds. Call the words. You need a renegade row sub. We're going we're gonna to have to leg you guys there. You're going to have to go lateral lunges for me. <laughs> Shit. Renegade Row. Renegade Row is kind of suck too, though. Those are hard. Ten aside all the way across the board, guys. We're going four rounds. Renegade Row. Band, banded and or body weight donkey kicks. And then you got ten apiece on the jackknife sit-up. Ten aside. Everywhere. Good. Get up, Charlotte. Reach. Reach for the skies on those jackknife single leg V-ups, whatever we're calling them. Whoa, almost lost Chris there. Just really focus and fixate on your butt opening up the front of your, your hip flexor, guys, right? Right around where your waist and your quad come together. You're squeezing your butt to open up that, that joint right there. Oh, I forgot about my little shape I was making during warm ups. How many dogs do you guys got? Like five? Mm, I know. Just being a smart Alec. Would love to know the origins of that uh, phrase. Been called that many a time. I don't know where that came from. Oof. Nice job, guys. Core nice and tight on these sit ups here. Move from your midsection. Don't throw your shoulder in your hand. Move from your midsection. Mm. I've made some green shakes that are delicious and refreshing and awesome. This is not one of them. That's the kind of dedication you got to have, though. Slogging through a nasty veggie shake. Not nasty. A little too natural. Yeah. Need a little something in there. Maybe some watermelon. Melons. That's a good sweetener for uh, green shakes, guys. Veggie shakes, whatever you want to call them. Smoothies. Melons. And I don't know if it's watermelon season or this is just when people decide to eat them and they're around all the time. But we've been getting a lot of watermelon here. 
Dude, oh my God, that just reminded me of when like you couldn't go grocery shopping really. Oh, that was something. And strangers dropping groceries off of your house, getting watermelon for no reason in the middle of February. But now we're all on vacation, enjoying a little virtual training, a little bit more relaxed. Kids aren't on the laptops anymore. Let's go. Open the hip flexor with the butt. That's what we're thinking about. It's our swing thought. Come on, Les. What am I, what am I, what am I, you got more I, gas in that tank. If you're donkey kicks, single leg sit-ups, or you got the renegade row. Is this right? That looks pretty good to me from here. Does it feel right? That's the question that needs an answer. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> All right. That's a good answer. Uh, maybe that might not be a great answer. We want, we want it to feel great. <laughs> we want it to feel challenging. Let's go, guys. Four rounds. We're going to finish a little quick core. It's a meaty workout today, man. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We can get into the high 40-minute range. Ah. ah! I got like three more of those to go. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Let's go. Four rounds. Chip, chip, chip away, right? Get that little battle axe out there. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Let's go, guys. Two body weights here, one weighted. We should be cruising through this thing. Here we go. Ooh. -wee. Nice job, guys. Let's go. Woodward, you're not getting up as high as you were that first round there, girl. What's going on with that, man? Let's see it, guys. Finish strong here. Come on. Let's finish them up, guys. Come on. Get to this core and get you guys out of here. Taking up too much of your time. Come on, slip over, take a breath, move on to that next one. Donkey kicks are easy. 
Those single leg jackknifers will catch up with you. Renegade Rose stink. I will give you guys that. Well, if you don't have the heaviest of weights, it's not so bad. Realize that's a relative statement, but you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Come on, let's go. Finish up. Finish up. All right, ma'am. Alrighty, guys, finish that last little circuit there. Our last one's going to be three quick rounds. Get our timer set up here. We're going to go 10 seconds of rest. We're going to go in between Superman hold. So we're just squeezing our butt up. We'll show you good form cues, holding. And then we're going to go to shoulder taps on the other side. Kind of burn out that little single-sided oblique work. All right. You got 30 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. We're going to go through three times, gang, and then you guys are out of here. So real quick, just a couple cues on the old Superman. We can always get better at stuff, right? Oh, make sure you're focusing as much on tightening your front side as you are your back side. So get yourself nice and extended and long. Squeeze your stomach, like flex your muscles into the floor, and then go into your squeeze of your shoulders and your butt and your hamstrings, all right? From there, you guys are up into the high plank position for perfect shoulder taps. I just demoed Superman lifts. I don't want you guys to do that. Sorry. This one we're doing. 30 seconds. Superman hold. Make sure that you're still tightening that core, though, all right? Woo. All right, guys. 30 on, 10 off, three rounds. Go home. Stay home or go do something more fun. 10 seconds. Listen to those beeps, guys. Always going through the full beeps. Oh, shit. I didn't see the call. Here we go. Holden. Superman hold. Sorry, call I lost you on the half of the screen. It wasn't apparently pulled up. Superman holds. Holding stuff, dude. That time under tension when you guys are squeezing and staying locked in like that, it should be taking quite a bit of wind out. Eight. Seven, six, stay tight. Try and continue to feel it in the right places. Your butt, your hamstrings, your shoulder blades. Rest, 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 rest. 10 seconds. We're up for perfect shoulder taps. Perfect shoulder taps. Let's go. Here we go. These are easy. You guys eat these for breakfast. Think about maybe going a little bit more narrow than the uh, Renegade Rose guys. Without that weighted resistance, we should be able to work a little harder and keep those... Hips nice and level, even with tight feet. 15 seconds. Come on, guys. Two more rounds after this one, man. Then we're out of here. Little holding, little tapping. Rest, 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 rest. 10 seconds. 10 second breather. Superman hold. Squeeze your butt, your hammies, and your shoulder blades to the sky. Let's go, go, go. If you're squeezing your abs on the front side to shorten your torso just with the ab muscles, and then you squeeze back, you shouldn't be feeling it as much in your low back. We want to feel it in our shoulders, our butt, our hamstrings, low back as well, but evenly distributed all the way. Shoulders down to your hammies. Thanks, Jack. Have a go on, Les. Seven, uh, six, yeah, my, my back was killing five, me. No <laughs> worries. Two, one. Rest, 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 rest. Let's hop up. Shoulder taps. Stay perfect on the shoulder tap, guys. One more round after this. No reason not to try hard, right? Let's go. Here we go. Tap it. Try not to turn. Feel what wants to move every time you pick your hand up and flex it or push it or move it. Tell your body to keep everything else quiet. Please keep it quiet. 
That's what you need to tell yourself. No movement. Beth Rosen, you look like frozen in time in one half of your body right now. Four, three. Rest. Because your hands are below there, it just looks like your head and shoulders are just not moving. But it's like, uh, uh. It's like you're juggling almost. Three, two, one. Squeeze up and hold, guys. Last 30 seconds here on the Superman. Always nice to finish with a little front and rear core moves. 20 seconds left on the hold, guys. We got our shoulder taps and then we're out. 13, 12, 11. Keep squeezing the front and the back. Almost try to fight against each other. Get your front to try and pull your back open and vice versa. Rest, 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 rest. All right, guys, last shoulder taps here. Be perfect. Perfect, but fast. Three, two, one. Go. Let's go. Come on. Tap, tap, tappy. Tap, tap, tappy. Here we go, guys. Last 20 seconds of the workout. 15, 14, 13, 8, 7, 6, Five more seconds on the day, guys. Keep moving. Rest. Dunzo, guys. Great work. I got ran a little long. Sorry if anybody's got anywhere to go. Most of us don't, though. Bye, guys. That's nice great, work. Jeff. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Later, Michelle. Bye. Later, uh, call the That room. was great. Thank, Thank you, Jack. You, Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.